Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Cyanide here. Back again with another GTA 5 Online video, and in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, we're going to be making 5 different transfer outfits. So yeah guys, like I said, this is another transfer glitch, so you guys will be losing all of your outfits besides one. So I recommend you guys equipping the outfit that you guys want to keep before starting this glitch. And also, this video right here consists of 3 requirements. The first requirement is that you guys will need your main character to be a male character, and it has to be on slot number 1. It cannot be on slot 2, or else this glitch will not work for you. The second requirement is that you guys will need the amount of money that was placed in the beginning of the video to make these outfits. And the third requirement is only for the people who want to do the pink joggers outfit. So to get the pink joggers, you guys have to either do the direct mode glitch or the safe wizard method to get the pink joggers. So once you guys have those three requirements done, you guys are set to go. And also a quick update about the giveaway. I decided to make a website to where I'm going to be hosting the modded account giveaway there. So yeah, guys, just go ahead and check the description down below and click on that link and it will direct you to that website that I'm talking about. So yeah, guys. Guys, just follow those simple steps that the website tells you to and you will be entered in that giveaway and again you guys have five days to join that giveaway until it's done so yeah guys if you guys want to go ahead and join that you guys gotta hurry up and do it before it's too late so yeah guys with that being said let's get straight into the video all right so the same as always the first thing you guys want to do you just want to make your way over to a clothing store apartment anywhere where you guys can access your saving your saved clothing so now from there make your way over to the you know the safe thing now from there, delete every single outfit on your saves list, as you guys can see right here. I'm going to be, you know, equipping the pink joggers before doing this glitch, as I am going to be making a pink outfit. So now from there, open up your interaction menu, set your spawn location to last location, and then simply just press options, go to online, and go to swap character. And yes, guys, you guys are going to have to create a female character, so that's why I said that your main character has to be on slot number one. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys when I'm done creating my female character. So once you guys have spawned in from creating your female character, the first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and open up your map and make sure you have a clothing store located on it. If you guys don't have a clothing store, simply just find a new session and, and it should reappear. So now as you guys can see right here, I'm arriving at the clothing store, which I did spawn in front of it. And uh, yeah, so from here, I'm going to be making the outfits first, then I'm going to be showing you guys the components. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. As you guys can see, I'm done doing the outfits. So now from here, I'm going to simply show you guys the components, like I said. So the first thing I want to do, this is for the pink outfit. So people who want to make the pink outfit, go ahead and copy these components. So go into the top section. Now from there, scroll all the way down and scroll back up until you see gun running t-shirts, all right? So as you guys can see, this one right here, gun running t-shirts. Then scroll all the way to number 60, which should be the last one, the blue dig digital t-shirt. Go ahead and, you know, purchase it. Now from there, back out and go back into tops and then go to work jackets. And purchase the peach camel close field jacket. It should be this one right here. So once you guys have purchased it, make your way over to the pants section. So go ahead and go to pants. Now scroll down to sport pants and purchase the first one, the spotted muscle pants. Once you guys have purchased those, make your way over to the shoes. And now from here, we're going to be putting on some pink Tron shoes. So go ahead and go to boots and purchase this one right here, the Warren Ox Blood Slack boots. These will give the pink Tron shoes, all right? So simply, once you guys have equipped to those, make your way over to the accessories as we are going to have to put on some gloves that we're going to merge on. So right here, go to uh, accessories. Now scroll down to gloves and put on the light woolen tacticals. If you guys have any earrings on, on your female character, just simply go ahead and go to, go to earrings and then take them off. Because if you guys do have them on, there's a chance that the, you know, the outfit won't transfer. So now we're done with the pink outfit. So simply just go ahead and save it on the first slot or the second. So go ahead and double save it just to make sure it saves. And now we're going to go on to the second outfit, which is a full checkered outfit. So for this outfit right here, go back into tops. Once you guys are here, scroll down to denim jackets and put on the two-tone denim jacket. Once you had purchased that, make your way over to Bustiers. It should be on the bottom. Scroll up. So yeah, go to Bustiers and it should be this one right here, the white lace Bustier. Now from here, make your way over to the pants section. Go into jeans and purchase the black crop jeans right here. These will give the black, um, you know, checkered jeans. So go ahead and purchase those. Now from there, make your way over to uh, the shoes. Go to high heel boots. Oh no, I mean high heels and purchase the charcoal platforms. Again, 
every, like the whole like the whole outfit will be checkered so yeah just go ahead and copy every single like you know the components that i put on so now from there make your way over to accessories once again and now go to gloves and again take off any earrings if you guys have any earrings on so like i said go back to gloves purchase the black woolen gloves So once you guys have purchased those, make your way over to the hat section. This is only optional. If you guys want the checkered hat, go ahead and go to the hats. And then go to canvas hats and purchase the second to last one. It should be this one right here, the gray um, blade um, canvas hat. So now from there, we're officially done with the second outfit. So go ahead and just save it on the front counter. It doesn't matter like what um, you name it. I just name it random, you know, L's and stuff. So yeah, go ahead and, you know, double save it just to make sure. And now we're going to work onto, onto the invisible arms with the vest, with the trash vest. So, so to make this outfit, just go ahead and copy the components. So go to tops. Now from there, go to denim jackets and put on the distressed denim jacket. I can see you wearing that. <clears throat> once you guys are here, once you guys have purchased it, um, go down to tuck t-shirts. Should be this one right here. Tuck t-shirts and purchase the black classic t-shirt. It should just say black classic, so go ahead and purchase it. Once you guys have purchased those, go over to the pants section. And we're going to have to put, purchase the spotted muscle pants again. So as you guys can see, boom. And now once again, make your way over to the shoes. Go into boots. And we're going to put on the, you know, the orange drawn shoes. So go ahead and put on the chocolate slack boots. And now once again, make your way over to back to the accessories. And we're going to, you know, put on the black, um, the woolen tactical gloves. So go into gloves. These right here, the light woolen tacticals. These will like allow us to merge on the black gloves. So now this is for the, you know, this is the first outfit for the invisible thing. I did go to the hat section, but you don't have to go there. So I'm sorry. So yeah, now from here, you guys are officially done. Well, we need one more outfit, but yeah, go ahead and save it. Save it next to the, you know, the uh, next outfit that we're going to make. So I saved it on slot number five. You guys don't have to uh, save it there, but it just has to be, you know, somewhere under it. So now from here, go over to the tops once again, and then we're going to have to go to party tank tops. So scroll all the way down, scroll back up. Party tank tops right here, and purchase a leopard loose tank. This will allow you to, you know, get them visible arms. So go ahead and purchase that. Now right there, back out, go back, back into tops and put on the tactical jacket. It should be the last one. So now from there, we're officially done with the invisible arms with the trash vest outfit. So go ahead and save it under the outfit that we just created. So boom, you guys will need those two outfits to make the, you know, the outfit. We have that in multiple colors. And now we're going to work on the full white, um, you know, modded outfit. So for, to make that, we're going to go back into tops. And I'll scroll all the way down, scroll back up. So we see designer t-shirts. So yeah, just keep on scrolling up right here. Designer t-shirts. And it should be the last one, the gold shiny top. Once you guys have purchased that, make your way over to the, you know, the pants section. And we're going to be putting on the same ones, which is a spotted muscle pants. We're going to be, you know, merging on the Gorka um, joggers. So go ahead and just purchase that. Now from there, go back into shoes. And then go to high heel boots and purchase the Deluxe Midnight Combats. These will give you like the, um, the white high tops. Now from there, we're going to make a way once again back to the accessories and put on the light woolen tactical gloves. So go into accessories. Go to gloves and make sure you guys don't have any earrings on, all right? See, so yeah, I purchased these right here. Now, from here, we're done with the, you know, the fourth outfit. So go ahead and save it once again, and make sure you kind of save it under the two outfits that we created earlier. So as you guys can see, I'm kind of like, you know, putting them in rows. So now we're gonna work on the last outfit, which is the checkered one with the invisible torso with the um, cob out. So going to tops. Now from there, go back into gun running t-shirts, and we're gonna have to put on the blue digit, uh, digital t-shirt. So keep on scrolling up and boom this one right here it should be the last one once you guys have purchased it go ahead and go back in like back out and then go back into um tops now go to work jackets and purchase a peach camo close field they're basically like the same components but yeah so now go back into um the pants section and then go down the skirts and purchase the gray mini should be this one right here this will give you like the, the saggy um, checkered pants. So now from there, go back into shoes. And we're going to be putting on some racing shoes. So go to play, uh, pink playing high tops. So this should be the second one on, on sneakers. 
and once again make your way back into accessories as we are gonna have to merge on some racing gloves so go into accessor accessories and then go to gloves and then put on, put on the light willing tactical gloves and now again this is optional if you guys want to put on a checkered hat which i am going to be putting on one so yeah to do that go to, go ahead and go to hats and then purchase it you know the second to last one the one of the canvas hats and now we're done with the first outfit we need one more and then we're done so go ahead and save it and once again you know skip skip one row and then save it so boom double save it just to make sure and now for the last outfit go back into tops and then scroll all the way down and scroll back up and go back into uh, party tank tops and purchase the same one that we did the Lippard loose tank go ahead and make sure you guys are doing this on order because if you guys uh, make the first the second outfit first they will not work so yeah make sure you guys purchase that tank top and now go to tactical jackets and purchase this one right here which should be the last one and now we're officially done with all five outfits so go ahead and save the last outfit at the front counter so as you guys can see there should be five outfits so go ahead and double save it just to make sure once again and as you guys can see you guys should have all of these outfits made boom all of these Those are so, so yeah make sure you guys have all of these outfits made so once you guys so once you guys had to make sure that you guys have them saved go ahead and go ahead and open up your interaction menu and then take the easy way out as it will force the game to save so yeah once you guys have taken the easy way out you guys should appear appear, appear off the, you know outside so once you guys are outside go ahead and just open up your interaction menu and switch you know outfits and then switch back and, and as you guys can see there will be like a little loading circle in the bottom right corner once you guys have seen that go ahead and press options go to online and go to creator you guys are gonna have to make a land race but again like i said in my last video i am not gonna be showing you guys how to do that because most people already know how to do that part so you guys i'll see you guys when i'm done doing my race So once you guys are done with your race, you guys are going to simply, you know, accept the first alert. So press X. Now from there, open up, you know, your pause menu. Go to online and go to choose character. Please be careful and do not start up a GTA online session or else this glitch will get messed up. And you guys will have to like, you know, restart the whole thing. So now at this point, you guys are going to have to make sure that you guys be careful and delete your female character and not your male character. As you guys can see right here, I'm going to be hovering over the male character. But I'm going to simply, you know, scroll to the right to hover over the female so boom right on the d-pad and it should switch over and now from there press square and then type in delete to delete your female character and then wait for the screen to disappear and now from here simply just press circle to return back to story mode do not press x or any other button besides circle so i'll see you guys when i'm back in story mode Alright, so once you guys are back in story mode, simply go ahead and press options. Now from there, go back to online and start up an invite-only session. Do not start up a public session or again, this glitch will not work for you. And then you guys are going to have to restart the whole glitch, alright? So make sure you guys go ahead and, you know, start up an invite-only session. And I'll see you guys when I load it into that session. So once you guys had loaded into the session, simply you guys want to go ahead and you know save your outfit before doing anything. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making my way over to my closet. It really doesn't matter where you guys are at, but just make sure you guys could save your outfit at the at the clothing store or apartment. It really doesn't matter. Just anywhere where you guys can access your clothing. So yeah, as you guys can see, all of the outfits did transfer. So all of them, all five did. So now right here, I'm gonna be saving my outfit on slot number 15 just to make sure it doesn't ruin the outfits. So boom, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. So like I said, I am going to be making the pink outfit first. So to do that, go into tops. Or if you guys don't have this hoodie, you guys could um, simply purchase it at the casino. So if you guys are already do have the hoodie, just go ahead and go to your tops. And then go to casino hoodies. It should be somewhere around here. So right here, cas casino hoodies. And then simply just apply this one right here. The neon waterproof. And now go into accessories. And then go into gloves. And then put on these white gloves right here that I'm going to show you guys. Should be up here. The white cotton gloves. Or the white surgical. It really doesn't matter. 
So now right here, open up your interaction menu. And make sure you guys have an earpiece. Because you guys will need an earpiece in order to save these outfits. So once you guys have to make sure you guys have an earpiece. Go ahead and start up the Crooked Cop mission. Which should be on Versus and Rockstar Created. So you guys, I'll see you guys when my mission loaded up. So now from here, simply go up, go down to clothing and set that to player owned in order to access your clothing, all right? So now from here, wait for someone to join you or you guys could simply, you know, just invite a friend to, in order to start the job. So you guys, I'll see you guys when someone has joined me. As soon as someone has joined you, go ahead and start up the job. Now from there, scroll down to owned outfits and, you know, slide once to the right. And you guys will see that the cop belt will merge onto the outfit. And also the Tron shoes did, but I can't show you right now because, you know, the thing is blocking it. So now from here, tell your friend to ready up so you guys can load into the mission. So I'll see you guys when I'm there. So now from here, go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, and equip the great earpiece. It really doesn't matter what type of earpiece it is, but it has to be one of the highest earpiece in order to save this outfit. So now before backing out, go ahead and, you know, drive around for a couple of seconds. Because if you guys just back out straight away, you guys will have a chance on landing inside of Bad Sport Lobby, which, you know, most people don't want that. So, you know, just go ahead, like I said, drive around for a couple of seconds before backing out. And I did park in front of the clothing store. So I'm right now I'm opening my phone and quit through the you know quit quit the job through my phone. So you guys I'll see you guys when I'm back in the session. Once you guys had backed out of the mission, now from here you guys want to make your way over to any clothing store or apartment to save this outfit. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys when I'm inside the clothing store. Once you guys have made it inside the clothing store, go ahead and save it at the front counter and go ahead and delete the slot that it was at at first. So that way it won't mess up the other outfits, all right? So go ahead and save it under the, you know, the outfit that you guys wanted to keep before starting the glitch. So yeah, go ahead and save it on slot number 16. And now right here, simply go back to the outfits and, you know, if you guys made the checkered outfit, you guys won't have to do any merging for this. So it will simply just be right there. So once again, delete it from the slot it was at and then save it under the slot that we made, um, you know, the first outfit on. So go ahead and double save it just to make sure it saves. And now we're going to work on the third outfit, which should be the um, the invisible arms one. The vest, I mean. So now for that one, you guys are going to have to go back into the clothing and then go to Gorka suits and purchase this Gorka suit that I'm going to put on. This one right here, the orange one. Go ahead and purchase that one. Now from there, open up your interaction menu and go to gloves and put on these black gloves that I'm about to put on. So go ahead and, you know, put these on. Once you guys have done that, go ahead and press options. Now from there, you guys are going to have to go back into Versus, which is the Crypt Cop. So go to Jobs, Play Jobs, Rockstar Created, and scroll down to Versus and start up the Crypt Cop mission. It's the same method all over. So you guys, I won't be showing you guys that part until, you know, I have the outfits. So you guys, I'll see you guys when I'm done with the outfits. So boom, once you guys are inside the job, go to Owned Outfits and scroll two times to the right. And as you guys can see, you guys will get a white shirt with the vest. And then scroll one more time to the right and boom, you guys will get the invisible arms with the trash vest and the Gorka joggers. So now from there, ready up and then I'll see you guys when I'm in the mission. And now, like always, go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, and equip the earpiece to save this outfit. And again, I'll see you guys when I backed out. So once you guys are backed up from the job, go ahead and make your way over to the clothing store and then save this outfit. And like always, go ahead and delete it out of the slot that it was at at first. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save it under the outfits that we just made. So again, double save it just to make sure. And again, these invisible arms do not reappear, alright? So that's what I like about this outfit. It stays invisible. So now, again, like I said, go ahead and delete the outfits that we made it out. We made it on at first. So boom. Now from there, we're going to work on the white, um, you know, the white outfit so to make that one you guys are gonna have to have the white gorka suit so it should be on top i don't know why i scroll down so this one right here the ash gorka suit go ahead and purchase that one and now go ahead and put on these white cotton gloves that i'm about to put on right now so go ahead and put on the, on these right here and once again it's the same process so again i'm gonna fast forward this part until i have the outfit so i'll see you guys when i have it
So once again, go to the front counter to save this outfit, all right? And also, make sure you guys are saving it under the outfits that we had already, you know, made. If you guys are saving it on top, it will mess up the other outfits, all right? So just, you know, pay attention. So we'll go ahead and double save it. And now we'll get rid of the outfit that we made it on uh, on the female character. So boom, get rid of this one. And now we're going to work on the last outfit, which is the checkered with the biker suit. So to make that one, go back into the clothing. Now from there, we're going to go to biker suits. So it should be somewhere on the bottom. I did kind of got like confused and I kept on scrolling back up and down. And uh, yeah, so, I'll, you know, go to biker suits. All right. So it should be like on the bottom, like in the middle. So I'm going to scroll back up and then, you know, right there. Boom, right here, the biker suits. And then purchase the black biker suit. Again, these um, with this outfit, we're gonna get the black um, racing gloves and the black boots. And also, it's the same method, so I'll see you guys when I have the outfit. Like always, go ahead and tell your friend to ready up. And now from there, go to owned outfits and scroll two times to the right, and you guys will see the invisible torso with the car belt and the racing gloves. And uh, yeah, guys, so once again, go ahead and save the outfit by equipping the earpiece. And I'll see you guys when I'm back in the session. So now go ahead and save this outfit on the front counter and once you guys have saved it we are officially done with all five modded outfits so yes guys this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and also like and subscribe if you guys are new and don't forget i am hosting that modded account giveaway so if you guys want to join that giveaway just click the link in the description and that will take you straight to the website in order to enter all right and also i did not show you guys the head components on this video but if you guys want to go ahead and copy the same head components i'm gonna leave a link in the description to the videos where i did show you guys the components for them so yeah guys you know just go ahead and do that that's only if you guys want to copy the same components but with that being said i'm out peace